everybody welcome back to another video thanks for tuning in today i'm participating in a challenge hosted by this and that with denise jordan and the challenge is to create a fall kitchen vignette and um, there's a few rules that go along with the challenge um, one of the rules is it must be a tray on a tray so i have this stand this is my tray I purchased this at the goodwill it was listed for 14 dollars. and as i was in there i didn't understand why it was priced so high so i searched up on my phone and found how much this would be new and the cheapest one i found was 8.99 so i went up to the cashier and i mentioned to her that it was there for 14 dollars, and i asked her why there was anything special about it maybe it was a specific brand but there's no brand listed so um, I told her that I found it for $8.99, so she gave it to me for half off. So I did end up getting this for $7, which I did not think was a bad deal because this is really cute. And so this is going to be my tray. The next rule is that it must include fall decor. So I have plenty of fall decor here. I have four pumpkins. I'm going to change these in different ways. So this one I got from Burlington a few years ago. This is a cinnamon fragrance pumpkin. This next pumpkin I got this from Target a few years ago. This was part of another display but I'm using this pumpkin as is. And I also have these two pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. This one um, I'm going to paint the bluish color. I have um, some paint that kind of matches this and I'm gonna paint this and I'm gonna just put some glitter over it. And then this pumpkin I'm going to also paint white but this one I'm going to put glitter going down this, these little creases and then I'm going to make this stem gold. And it also has to include a fall floral. So I do have these flowers. I have five of those. And these came from the Dollar Tree. These were all in a bouquet. I just pulled the stems off of those and I'm gonna use them just like this. And in addition to that, these also came from the Dollar Tree and these are definitely fall decor. They have that pine cone look inside. I'm using four of those. Next rule is that the the, the display must include a plate and I got this plate a set of two of these for 50 cents at the Goodwill it was made in Japan and it has this iridescent look to it and once I found this plate and this stand pretty much the stand I found first and then I went about looking for the plate and the plate just happened to have the same bluish green color on it so this became my color scheme that I was gonna go 
for. But I'm also incorporating the a little bit of gold and a bit of this creamish white color. The last rule of the challenge is there must be words. The, um, the display must include some kind of words. So for that part of the challenge, I'm using these gold letters. I'm gonna put them on the plate. And the last thing that I'm gonna have on the tray is these two jars here. And because I'm using gold, I'm actually gonna be adding some of these Hershey Kisses into, into the jars. And these are in gold foil. Also, I found these at the Goodwill. These were $3 for the pair. They are so cute. Um, they are actually salt and pepper shakers. The little top parts of these are chipped. And because these are purple, I don't really decorate. I don't decorate with purple and it doesn't fit any of my color scheme. So what I am, after a long time of going back and forth and trying to decide if I really wanted to or not, I am going to paint the purple part of the owls just to make it match my color scheme and the way I would use them. I'm not gonna use them as salt and pepper shakers, but I do wanna be able to use them in my decor and purple just doesn't fit. So I'm gonna just paint these and hope for the best because of the fact that they have these little chips anyway, I wanted to do something about that. So the best thing for me to do is just to paint them. So I'm just gonna put everything together and show you how everything's gonna look on the final display. And Denise Jordan's channel will be linked below in the description box as well as the playlist so you can check out any of the other participants in this fall vignette challenge. Thanks for watching.